Hello, today I'm going to show you how to unpack, adjust, regulate and repack a committee grasshopper clock. Starting with unpacking, you have four latches which need to be unclicked, which means you can now slide off the front panel. Remove the top foam section and the clock is on a base, so remove the back case. The clock is secured to the base using four wooden panels, one on each side. You need a Phillips screwdriver. For demonstration purposes, I have removed these two already. You will have four to remove. Lift them away from the clock. Remove the plastic sheet. Next, gently lift the clock off of the wooden base. Lift up the glass panel. Gently place down. Two foam sections come off in halves. Gently remove as not to disrupt the clock below. The pendulums are secured via the two wooden clamping blocks and the escape wheel is secured via the ribbon. Before removing either, remove the cardboard section at the bottom. The next step is to release the pendulums from the wooden clamp using these two plastic screws. Hold the wooden clamp with one hand and remove the screws one at a time with the other. Comes away in two halves. The next step is to release the escape wheel. It is very important that the pendulums are moving like so when the escape wheel is released. If the pendulums are not moving, there is a risk that the escape wheel can spin freely, causing damage to the clock. Ensure the pendulums remain swinging. It is a good idea at this point to wear gloves because your fingers release oil, which will tarnish the clock. Gloves will be provided with each clock. Ensuring the pendulums are swinging, like so, proceed to release the ribbon. Carefully lift the ribbon away as not to disrupt the clock. If the escape wheel starts to spin, Gently place one finger on the escape wheel and give the pendulums more action. Release the escape wheel and the clock should run. If the clock is not wound, you need to wind the clock using the key found in the drawer below. Again, it is very important the pendulums are swinging as you wind the clock. The key has a square which can be inserted through the dial onto the winding hole and wound clockwise. The clock runs for eight days, so I recommend winding the clock once per week on the same day. If you wind the clock more than once a week, there will be no issues, but avoid letting the clock stop. If the clock continues to run, you won't have any issues. To adjust the timekeeping of the clock, you need to move the minute hand. The minute hand is the longer hand, just with one finger and avoid contact with the hour hand. 
like so. Adjust to the correct time and replace the canopy, ensuring not to touch the pendulums. That is how you set up a navigator clock.